Hi Sagittarius, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. And lovely, if this is your what the fuck reading for the 15th to the 21st of June. Um, no real announcements, just a reminder that if you want to take part in the free giveaway when we get to a thousand subs, just leave a comment in the comments box. It doesn't have to be a long comment, it could be a love art, it can be anything. Just make sure it's polite. So my lovelies, please like, share and subscribe for me if you like what I'm doing. Welcome to all my newbies, I really love having you here. And an even bigger welcome to all those that are returning to the channel. Um, going along great guns, really excited and uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Sorry, Dons, that bang was the dog just jumping down off of the sofa. Come on, let's have a movement and journey card for Sagittarius, please. The others come out really quick, didn't they? Oh, my goodness. Well, Sagittarius, there is a whole message for your movement going forward, darlings. So what can they do about the situation? is out of their hands. What's out of Sagittarius's hands? What can't we do about this situation? Reconnecting to your true you. Okay. And the final outcome. Okay, lovely. Okay, darling, so your current situation, you've got nature. Now, there's a bit of a story behind nature. In other decks, this is the devil card, but this is slightly different. This talks about entrapment. This guy's setting a trap, but the bear in the background is going, what the fuck are you doing? Um, and it says, does the bear within me go and put its paw in the trap? Or does the bear decide to go and dance with the wood nymphs? Now, what I got as I laid this card down was a trap is being set and the bear is going... Fuck that, I'm off. And that has started a bit of the what the fuck for you. Because whatever this situation is, you are trying to work extremely hard to make it work. You are putting time and effort into this to draw things together, to draw items together. Now, it doesn't have to be about work. It can be about your home life. Um, and I'm getting that. Where this bear is saying, fuck you, I'm off. I'm kind of getting that you feel that your hard work needs to be harder. And it doesn't. But it started a bit of a what the fuck for you. Because I'm kind of getting that maybe with all the work that you're putting in... Um, 
you're not seeing the open door behind you. Um, but that bear has definitely had enough. There is definitely a trap being set. I don't think that you're seeing this. Or if you have seen it, you've seen it just a tad too late. It's taken for the bear to go, no, fuck this, I'm going. So, your first aspect, darling, is facing your fears and taking your fucking power back around this. You're at the Ten of Chalices, which is completion of family. Um... Now, all the chalices are in the upright, so the completion of family and then going into a one for a new beginning, a new start for a family, um, I'm kind of getting that to stand, you want to stand in your power around this family and you know that you can bring a new harvest in. But you're not going to bring it in for everybody, darlings. You're really not. That bear is really fucked off. This is you going forward with. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hazard a guess, Sagittarius, with your own little family, the family you've created, not the family that you were born into, is what I'm getting. And I'm getting that there will be a lot of harvests around the family that you are creating around you. And it's very settled, it's very peaceful, it's very joyous. The harvests are coming, you've sown these seeds about what you wanted for such a long time. And they're now coming into harvest that you guys are going to be able to sow new seeds for your future and stand beautifully in your power. Now your manifestation, your wish fulfilment, and why this may be fucked, darlings, I haven't got a clue why you would want to go and sit stand in the shadows i'm kind of getting that um you're not happy about accolades you're not happy about people singing your praises too much you will put that down but you really do need to step out in the sunshine with the lord of the shadows and head towards that wishing well because the pathway is clear for you to get to the wishing well and take part in your life fully um, and it may be that your wish fulfillment has been put on hold for the time being. A lot of things have during this crisis, during the virus, during all the other stuff that's going on in the world. And it may be that it's just a, a little bit on hold and you're sitting back and just waiting for the time to be right. But darlings, you have to be proactive when you're manifesting. And if there's something you want, you need to make your way to that wishing well and start living the life that you want to live so your movement and your journey is a bit of a story my darlings okay yeah i understand the message a bit long-winded way of, of saying it but hey so you've got the standing stone this is this is completely natural justice this is some this is somebody's karma coming back to smack them in the gobs so this is you standing stone your scales are in balance it you know it could be a libra card you've got your labyrinth at the bottom that's maybe some false starts that suddenly clear the way everything comes back into balance the sun is shining on you you've got the stones for protection and do you know something when natural justice hits there's nothing anybody can do about that it will just come to fruition and um, people will start seeing the true colors because the light is illuminating on those um, scales being balanced the reason i'm saying libra for you sagittarius is because right behind that you have the queen of a um now she can be a uh, gemini libra or aquarius but she is an air sign she is highly intelligent she knows how to protect herself she knows how to draw energy down from the universe but most of all she knows how to use that knife to cut things out that no longer serve her and i guess that on your journey this natural justice is going to teach you and she if she's an energy around you is going to teach you exactly how to cut things away and let them go because there's something that you so desperately want 
you have a desire going forward of the seven of wands now you may be overstretching yourself a little bit but that's okay as long as you don't fall in that bloody fire um overstretching yourself is good but what it's saying to you is is you know try not to topple that stall try not to go any further for the time being because you will overburden yourself but this is a deep desire this is a seven this is spiritual you've got the symbol of the goddess up in the window you've got the fire for your desire and you've got the wands to make the magic to make it happen and you can do that um sagittarius as soon as this um karmic i'm going to say karmic i don't like word karmic natural justice this karmic justice is coming in and will be cleared out of the way because right behind that you have the priestess now the high priestess unlike the priest she is intuitive she draws energy down from the moon she adds to that pot willy-nilly she's not traditional she will add to that pot she knows what to put in that pot intuitively and it comes out blindingly it really does and what this tells me is is that you know the ingredients for your desires going forward and you keep adding little bits to it and it still comes out really good and then right in behind that you have a wish fulfillment come together this is the nine of chalices this is knowledge wisdom happiness love intuition looking into your future and your desires and getting everything that you absolutely want for yourself sagittarius now i am getting that you are a fire sign darlings but you've got another eight of a thames. now this a is particularly relevant around this situation and it's telling you if in doubt do nothing if you can't see a way forward don't move be still it's okay to be still it's okay to take a deep breath it's okay to use your intuition you're being told three times about your intuition now that may be hard for a fire sign to connect with that initially because you want to burn bright you want to burn fierce and sometimes you just want to fizzle out but it's saying to you don't move for the time being because then you've got this young page coming in who is asking you for page of a theme is to draw down the energy from the universe the same as the queen energy has from the universe in order to deal with illumination of a truth or an untruth use your wisdom to unravel that and then please 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 whatever you do start taking notes about it so clearly on your journey you are being told that you're in your your future's bright there is going to be a natural justice come forward that's not clear that that is completely about you but it's clearly telling you that you need to be still you need to think about things you need to use your intuition 100% about this situation here so love is what you can do about the situation you've got the ace of chalices now the ace of chalices for me it can be a love card absolutely it can there's different forms of love but when i see this cup i see that there somebody has worked hard to fill this cup up and it's now overspilling and this could be you you could be getting ready to offer this cup out to somebody else now it doesn't have to be a love interest it can be a whole host of different things but you have filled this cup up with everything that you have to offer and when you offer this out it will give you an indication of anything that's being offered back whether that's going to work for you or not now right behind the ace of chalices you've got the seven of chalices which is choices now you've got choices to make your seven chalices there some are filled up some are not you got those faith folk whispering in years don't listen to other people you got this 
you've got this new beginning where's that other card you've got the ten of chalices here which is going to help you stand in your power which is already turned into a one and then what you can do about the situation you've got this ace of chalices which is i'm thinking that this is telling me that you need to focus on your life because your life is going to be full of choices but don't listen to other people on what they're saying you listen to your own heart listen to you and watch your own cup and it may be easier for you with these choices to discard the ones that you don't want that don't serve you and then leave yourself with the ones that are okay for you and then make your choice from there so what you can't do about the situations darlings you have got the horned god now he or she he energies again male or female they're an advocate they speak up for those who don't have a voice so that's animals people anything anything that can't speak for themselves anybody who can't speak for themselves this person will stand up very tall and very proud and right in behind them they've got the world tray now this i'm think i'm getting what you can't change is that this is going to be you you're the one who's going to have to advocate because that bear has gone, I'm, I'm off. The bear's had enough. The bear's standing beside you wanting you to deal with this now. Because the bear just, no, uh-uh, ain't doing it. Then you've got the world tree right next to you. This is a yes card, darling. This spans all seasons. The roots go deep. There is nothing you can do about this deep-rooted feeling of belonging. But the branches splay out over all the seasons, night and day. Gives you lots of options. You've got the serpent for luck at the bottom. And what it's saying to you, whatever you advocate for, whatever you see to be your justice. Where's your justice card gone there? To be your natural justice is most definitely the way forward, Sagittarius. Don't let anybody tell you differently. So lovely as you've got the three of pentacles and this is the reconnecting to the true you. This is you teaching somebody and somebody teaching you. This is life's lessons. This is something that is quite magical that's happening around you. You're still learning how to gather your pentacles but you have the standing stones for protection. You have maybe a surprise that you are teaching somebody older or maybe it's somebody younger that has had something to say that has made a lot of sense and it has taught you something about yourself. But it's telling me that you are going through some life's lessons that are going to be really pertinent to your way of thinking and the way you are about yourself in the long term. So lovelies, your outcome card, your perception of a situation oh god i've got it upside down sorry your perception of a situation you are going to look at it from a completely different perspective you are going to make sure that you have searched every angle of this situation going forward and then at the bottom of the deck you've got the seven of pentacles you've got three sevens in here darlings you got the seven of pentacles now this is hard work towards your career your family life your home work life balance coming in properly this is um, you've moved on from the apprentice stage you are now at the stage where you are working towards becoming the master craftsman which you've got in the beginning of your um reading what i'm getting is is that you need to touch base again with what you've learned with what you've learned about your pentacles what you've learned about your home life um, and instead of working really hard to become a master craftsman um, it says try to be a little bit more open about your choices you know try not to be a jack of all trades and a master of none but be careful about your choices because that's what you might end up doing Sagittarius 
especially if you're putting other people's thoughts and feelings before your own um, so you really do need this lesson um, from this air sign coming forward that um, that you need to learn to cut things out and cut things and when you do that um, it needs to be a permanent thing you've got to stop inviting things back in and I think that's where the trap has come is that you've invited things back in that are no longer serving you and I think you know that I think you know that you're on a hiding to nothing and that's why that bear has gone scurrying off and then has ended up standing beside you wanting you to do the advocacy and um, the support system around them so let's ask the angels and the ancestors going forward for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for this week's reading. For Sagittarius. Blimey, Sagittarius. Right, hold on a minute. Three more shuffles. And if nothing comes out... Anything else for Sagittarius, thank you. Right, so the first one to come out was spring, see your seeds grow, and you've got a lot of seeds, you really have, and then you've got the Lord, and this says take charge with authority, you have the Shonen Master which says be graceful in movement and action, and then you have the Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right, she's been coming out an awful lot for all of the signs so that's not just about you having the we all have the need to be right about something um but around this situation i think you're gonna have to especially this top one here can see that you didn't see that trap coming and you don't blame the bear for fucking off to be honest so sagittarius that's your reading 15th to 21st of june love is wherever you are in the world please 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 be safe and i'll catch you in next week's reading bye for now